A schoolgirl caught on video stepping off her school bus. She's just one block from home, never seen again. Four days later, the search for teen Alicia Moore comes to an end. She is found dead in a storage trunk there on a remote country road 40 miles from home. And tonight, why? Why was there never an Amber Alert? Why was there six, almost seven-hour delay in the reporting of her missing? Why so much misinformation, dropped balls, crossed wires? Between what I know right now, this little girl never had a chance. I want justice tonight, and I want answers why was there no large-scale search for this girl? No media attention whatsoever regarding her disappearance. I want to go straight out to David Lore, reporter Huffington Post. What do we know? Let's take it from the top. Give me the timeline. What happened, David? Well, we know uh, on November 2nd, uh, Alicia got on the school bus. She went to school. She attended school that day. Uh, she was supposed to stay after, but uh, she decided not to. So at 325, the bus shows her getting off at the bus stop. Uh, like you said, it's a block from her home. And what happened to her uh, after that, we don't know. Uh, she was supposed to stay after. She didn't. So her parents, uh, they weren't initially concerned. But as the day went on, they checked with her friends. They checked with the school. Nobody had seen her. So at 922 that night, they filed a missing persons report with police. Out to John Phillips, uh, joining me from KABC. John, she was supposed to stay after school, but she didn't. What else do we know, John? Well, Nancy, let's not forget, this is a Friday. This is every high school kid's favorite day of the week. It's the day that leads into the weekend. And my, my guess is she was ready for this weekend to begin. She gets on the bus, and it's videotaped. As we learned from that bullying incident in Buffalo when everything was, was videotaped on the school bus, that's the last time we ever saw her there. We also know that she had a history, according to her mother, this is what her mother told the police, she had a history of sometimes doing, leaving her mother's custody and doing her own thing without telling her parents, without telling sometimes her friends or anyone where she was going. So that was a ball that was up in the air. She also suffered from ADHD and was taking medication for that.